Dave, how are you feeling after that? Uh, yeah, delighted with the win now. Uh, it's a tough game to come on to. A lot of ball and play time, but overall we're happy with the win. It was a uh, great first half performance. I think we got a little bit unstuck in certain situations in the second half, so we need to rectify, but overall happy. Um, was there a sense of, of, of sending out some kind of a statement delivering a performance at this World Cup that was, that was somewhere, somewhere near what, what you're capable of as a team? I think it's been building on every week. You know, um, you start off the competition and you try and build on every performance. You know, we've, we've had mistakes that we've had to rectify, you know, from Romania right through to um, Tonga, South Africa, and tonight so again you know we lost our way a little bit in the second half so we'll have to again find fixes but that's what's so great about this team you know it's that wanting and willing to always get better um, and just trying to be the best teammates we can and get better every day. I'm really staggered by the words that, that everybody's saying about Peter um, and about the milestone that, that he's achieved, not just the milestones he's achieved himself, but how it was brought into the performance and, and, and talked about and, and used and, and wanting to kind of honour him in the performance. Jack's just been talking about it as well. Just tell us your own point of view from that as somebody who obviously knows him pretty well. Yeah, I probably know Pete, um, you know, since we're 18, 19, you know, we came into the academy, he'll say I came in a lot later than he did, but, uh, you know, we've been playing together a long time. Uh, Pete is a monster man true and true and a, an Irish man true and true and he leads by example you know I saw Johnny saying in the press during the week you know you don't really get to see him but you know a great leader he's a, he's a selfless person he you know he doesn't look for the credit um, you know he does the hard work to, that people don't uh, give him credit for uh, he's probably getting now you know he's lying out D work he's um you know, he's a uh, rock game, uh, turnover game. There's so much to his game that people probably don't give him enough credit for. But uh, for years, he's been the heartbeat to Munster rugby and Irish rugby. And to give him that performance tonight, I think, is uh, fitting for the man. He fully deserves it. You know, everyone loves him. I love him. Uh, you know, he's been a great friend of me during the years. Uh, we've had some bad times together, some great times together. Um, you know, I. I know him 10 or however many years and still asked to sit down and have a photo with him we had a beer together and uh, yeah couldn't love him more You had about half a dozen Scottish lads hanging off him during that uh, bit of argy-bargy after half time as well Yeah but that's Pete like he just gets stuck into everything you know you need people like that you know he just doesn't take a backward step you know he'd fight, he'd fight with his own mother like you know uh, now she's over so I better not say that but in a in a, in a great way you know it's it's never out looking for attention he's just he refuses to take a backward step, you know, he's uh, he's just the ultimate competitor and leader. That's uh, I can't give him more praise. He's been an unbelievable captain. He's captain his country, he's captain Lions, he's captain Munster. Uh, and we've been very fortunate to have him, you know, he um, Munster in Ireland would be, you know, wouldn't I won't say without his without him, but there, you know, he, he he would be giving out to me saying that he's going to retire or whatever, but you know he's going to be massive boots to fill in time. But he's just been the heartbeat of Munster in Ireland for the last ten years. Uh, just a word then on on what's awaiting next week. Um, it's the All Blacks. It's a quarter final as well. We know all about that, and we know there's a few injuries and, and bodies to, to maybe recover. We'll have to wait and see. Um, is that a concern going ahead? To, to, the, the injuries are mounting up or are you confident going ahead? Look to some point in saying it's definitely a concern you know there was a few injuries I'm sure you saw them coming off there um, but the great thing about this squad is this next man up you know um, and it's such a competitive environment and that's what Faz has created you know you've so many people like Ian Henderson started tonight and James Ryan was on the bench and you know Jack Honan was back on the bench there's just there's, there's so many much good competition and healthy competition and it drives everyone on and um, so we'll assess uh, the injuries over the next few days and um, I'm sure the coaches will put a plan in as they always do. Brilliant, Dave. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Cheers. Thanks.